So how to choose a pole between the micro line and the pro line? Well, remember the micro is more for residential. At a shorter collapsed height, it also comes apart at every second section. So one, three, five, and seven. If you're doing houses, it's nice to have that compact size and the more versatility. It also has a trad pole built into it that you can take out and use on the inside while you're not using it as a water fed. If you're looking for something more on a commercial side or it's always gonna stay a water fed, go with the ProLine. It'll cost a little bit less, but it will stay at the same height, fully extended at 30 feet starting. So let's talk about with zero poles, which carbon fiber pole you would use based on the carbon fiber it's made with. If you wanna go with just a good rigid and lightweight pole, you would wanna go with the Pro Basic, which is made with basic carbon fiber. This is also going to be the most inexpensive version as well. If you wanna go with something a little bit lighter, then you would go with the Zero Pro Ultra Light. This is made with ultra high mod carbon fiber. The walls are thin as well to make it super light from 30, 40, 50, or 60 feet. The Zero Destroyer is gonna be the most rigid of the line, also made with ultra high modulus carbon fiber, but is gonna have a very thick walls and a longer overlap, making it the most rigid of the Zero water-fed pole line. 